Something a bit different for you now, but we've been talking about all morning in the newsroom, I can tell you, it's about pregnancy and childbirth. It's something we generally deem exclusive to a woman. But what would happen when a man wants to feel our pain? Well, an Irishman has decided to do just that, went to a special private maternity hospital in Amsterdam to experience labour pains, thanks to a simulation childbirth machine. Henry McKean lasted listen to this woman out there, two hours and 15 minutes in labour and now his video has become a viral hit. Before we discuss whether a man can ever truly experience what a woman feels like while we're in labour, let's take a look at his video. Ah, 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 I shouldn't be laughing because we're going to be talking to the man himself from Dublin is Henry McKean. But let me introduce you as well to our journalist here in the studio, Daisy War, who is uh, with the Sunday Times and the author of I Don't Know Why She Bothers, Guilt-Free Motherhood for Thoroughly Modern Women, and also Rebecca Schiller, who is a doula here in the UK and is six and a half months pregnant with her second baby. Thank you all very much uh, for joining us. We need to start with you, Henry. Why did you do it? Hi, hello. I suppose I did it because I wanted to find out how women everywhere, how much pain they're in, what sort of pain do they go through when it comes to childbirth, because at the end of the day, I am a man, and I can't actually have a baby. Even at the end, they gave me a little doll, and I gave birth to baby David. But I suppose we wanted just to level the playing field and find out how much actual pain women go through, and I can tell you, it's absolute agony. I have to say, Henry, we scoffed a little bit that you only managed two hours and 15 minutes. Was it that bad? You scoffed a little bit. It was, it was awful. It was really, really, really hard. It was like li lots of little Lego men, hundreds of Lego men, lots of electric toothbrushes, mobile phones, all going off in your stomach at the same time. It was so sore, and I've got so much more respect for women everywhere because I kind of understand them a bit better. What do you think of it, Daisy? Number one, why didn't you just ask for an epidural? <laughs> <laughs> Number two, the question everybody wants to know is, which hurts more, childbirth or being kicked in the, what's the point? There isn't one, yes. <laughs> can, you, can you answer that for us, Henry? I would say that's a really good question, getting kicked in the testicles. Is it possible to compare the two? To be honest with you, it's a different kind of pain. I felt winded, but at the same time, I felt like that there was an alien inside my stomach. So a different type of pain, a little bit like being winded by being kicked, maybe a football kick down there. But the pain was huge because the electrodes were attached just above my private parts, and I had major muscle strain in that area for days afterwards. To be honest with you, I'm still in pain He's right now. Answering. He's not really answering that question. <laughs> Do you think men's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's what all women would probably say that men's pain threshold isn't as high. Mm. But, Rebecca, you've got a slightly different experience of this. I mean, we often talk about the pain of childbirth, but some women have a different experience, don't they? Absolutely. I mean, when I had my first baby, I'm, I'm someone that shies away from the dentist. I'm terrified of needles, but um, I found labour... Um, to be not too bad actually I quite enjoyed it um, and I found the things that I had around me being at home having really good support um, and midwives I'd got to know really really important during during my birth um, I'm not sure Henry that you have actually experienced what it's like for a woman to, to labor I felt a bit sorry for you actually during during parts of that video because I think <laughs> what Henry seems to be experiencing is what um, you know, unfortunately, some women actually experience during labour, which is a very lack of support, um, not having somebody there to help them through the contractions. Um, and, you know, we've got increasingly lots of women having um, induced labours where their bodies are having all these contractions, but they haven't got the benefits of the kind of natural cocktail of hormones that helps us through labour. So, um, Henry might have had actually a raw deal for those two, <laughs> part of those two yeah, hours. Yeah, no, Daisy, yeah, the yeah, epidural is the answer. Epidural is always the answer. <laughs> yeah. I did have one. That was I had a totally pain-free delivery because I had an epidural and something called a bring it on fast or what are they call induction. Were you made to feel was joyful? Were you made <laughs> to feel Daisy at any point though guilty about making those choices? Uh, well, that's the point, isn't it? And with the, gradually, I got more and more sort of stubborn and less guilty about it. But initially, you know, the bravery it takes to say, listen, I just I don't want anything natural. I don't want to get in a bathtub. I just want it over because I'm not really interested in the process. I just want the baby, you know. So uh, no, the, the first one I had a 
a, I had a, a, a water birth. I had the beginnings of a water birth, and then finally got, got the courage to say, "Listen, I just uh, it doesn't make me a bad mother. I just don't. I, you know, if I have a headache, I take an aspirin. If I have a, a, a pain in my stomach, I take a. Well, if I'm if I'm giving birth, I have an epidural, unless I'm." Slightly mad. Emily, are you surprised by the incredible reaction to your story from right across the world? I saw it was on New Zealand television even. Oh, absolutely. And I know you're a Kiwi and the reaction has been huge around the globe. People are coming up to me in the street here in Dublin and they're saying, how's the baby? How's baby David? Everywhere I go, online, the reaction's just been absolutely huge to be honest there's been we're not sure exactly how many hits but we're looking at well over a hundred thousand it's just turned into a, a big viral hit and to be honest with you i think people can really relate to it because men can't have babies and we can't understand what goes on in women's heads but i think i'm that much closer to under understanding and a lot of ladies are quite upset with me and they're saying you don't understand pain you haven't got a clue i was in labor for 24 hours or even longer you only managed two hours 15 minutes but i suppose we were having a little bit of fun and we were just trying to respect ladies more and to be honest with you i'm finding it easier to chat up ladies to go up to a pretty girl or any type of girl and say hello it's really just changed things for me completely. I get you guys sitting there in the studio. I understand you. I no, know what's you going through your head. I do. I, on, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. Now, Henry, you have to be quiet because we're a little bit incredulous that you're using this as a chat up line. Can you I imagine, can't. Dave? I can't. I cannot imagine. If somebody said to me, Lady, lady, I feel your pain because I went in a peculiar machine in the room and went, ah, I would. I, 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 I might call the police, actually. <laughs> and, I, and I think there's a, there are a lot more useful things you could probably be doing should you be in the position of supporting somebody through yes. a birth yes. um, can I ask to prepare yourself. Can I ask you a bit about that, Rebecca, because you're from Doula UK. Now, yeah. to explain to people, a doula is, is generally a woman. It can be a man who supports a woman through yes. childbirth. Shouldn't that be the role of the father in this situation? Though, like, isn't some of the useful information that yeah. could come out of this is Henry telling men how difficult it is, so perhaps they can be a little more supportive? Absolutely. And, um, you know, a, a doula's role is very much to work alongside a partner, a, a father or a partner, if there is one. Um, and there's good evidence to show that... Um, the support of a doula in addition to a partner um, has quite dramatic effects on things like the cesarean section rate and on whether women need to have an epidural or any other kind of pain relief as well as actually shortening the duration of labour. But part of my job is to work with the partners beforehand and help them to feel confident in what they can actually do. Now I'm not sure that terrifying them into thinking it's got to be agonizingly painful is that helpful i think giving them some practical tips on what they can do and making sure they understand how a woman's body actually works during labor and birth so they can avoid doing the things that are bound to distract and annoy her and do the things that are going to be really supportive and helpful and also make sure that the caregivers around her are um, able to provide that focused dedicated attention what role do you see for men in the labor room David? um that's a very good question because I'm struggling to see one at all. I mean, I, I think a little bit of, you know, poor old you and go and get some nice cup of tea or something afterwards. And, and actually, and I'll buy you a nice feeling... present when the baby's born. Oh, sure, yeah, I don't think every day anyone's got any money left after that. <laughs> but, but I think, um, I think it's, it's quite, a, you know, if you're feeling nervous about saying, I, I, I'm not a bad mother, I just want to have painkillers, mm. then, then maybe they can fight your corner for you. And I think, I really do think it's, it's difficult for uh, women to say, listen, we all know it's, it, it, and even he knows now that it's incredibly painful. Um, and I'd prefer to have painkillers. And I think there should be. I, it would be wonderful if there was less stigma attached to that. It's not a reflection of your of you as a mother. It's just a reflection of you having a fairly practical approach to medicine. In my opinion, I, I, I agree. Uh, there should be. You know, and I've supported women for whom an epidural has been absolutely a godsend and has been a really positive birth experience. Um, there is some good evidence, though, that. Um, satisfaction with your labor is not related to how much pain relief you have all the studies show that um, if pain relief itself does not mean you had a good perception of labor um, that good perception of labor tends to be related to how you felt you were cared for and, and I think that's where um, we've got to put importance as well as making sure women have all the options pain relief options Henry, we, we need to wrap this up but I mean are you surprised for, firstly that 
what you've been through is now prompting this kind of discussion here in the studio in London. If you could answer that, Absolutely. and also could you finally just leave us with one of your chat-up lines? Please? That's <laughs> very curious to well, know. I, I, actually think, I actually think, ladies there, to be honest with you, you are lucky because you have natural hormones that kick in when you have a baby. I don't have any of those natural hormones. The only thing that I had was adrenaline, and you could say maybe a six pat, pat of fat on my belly, and that was about it. But it was, it was so, so sore, and to be honest with you, I just, I just have so much more respect. You want me to chat you up now? You want me to say no. around the world, to people <laughs> across the world, use some sort of chat up line? I'm not sure if I can do that. I suppose my advice to men everywhere is, men, I'm sorry, we are useless. We're absolutely useless. All we can do is hunt. And when it comes to actually being there beside your partner, um, don't, um, you know, don't get condescending. Just listen. You can't help. I had Haley O'Connor there with me. I had a birthing partner. I had a girl uh, from a book who ended up sponsoring it, Labrooks, and they actually, she was useless, she couldn't help me at all. I, I actually swore at her and told her where to go because basically the only person who can help you through childbirth births, isn't the doctors, isn't the midwives, it's you, it's the mum, because you have to push out the baby like my mother as uh, she pushed four boys okay. out and it's up to you, it's up to the mum, it's down to you, so okay. all respect to all of you. Okay, Henry, our bit of advice for you as well though is we think you need to change your pyjama pants because those flowery ones, now that you've gone viral. I, I them here attractive. if you want me to show them to you. <laughs> they're, they're actually from a shop in Amsterdam. They're going to be fashionable around the globe this time Any next moment. year. Every bloke will be wearing them. Okay, Henry, thanks so much for joining us. Daisy and Rebecca, thank you very much. Lively discussion. <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much. Do stay with us here on BBC World News. Still to come, the action is really hotting up in Wimbledon. We'll bring you the latest from Central.